वेलकम बैक टू आर प्लेटफॉर्म टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट कंप्यूटर आर टॉपिक बिलोंग टू क्लास सेवन टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट चैप्टर नंबर थ्री एंड द नेम ऑफ चैप्टर एडवांस फीचर्स ऑफ एक्सल टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट टाइप्स ऑफ चार्ट दे आर आर लॉट ऑफ टाइप्स हैज बीन प्रजेंट इन एक्सल टूडे वन बाई वन वी विल रीड अबाउट डेट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल रीड अबाउट बार चार्ट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट it illustrate the comparison between the individual data item if we have to compare between the individual data item then we have to create bar chart so bar chart bar chart represent the comparison between the individual data item so it show the comparison between the individual data item it display data in the form of long rectangular rod called bar data place vertically horizontally on the chart area means that it represent our data in the rectangular rod or these rod has been known as a these rod has been known as a bar these rods has been known as a bar what is bar rectangular rod are called bar in this type of chart categories are represent on vertical axis means that categories has been shown on vertical axis and the values are represent on the horizontal and values has been represent on the horizontal axis this is the things we have to remind us category will show on the vertical axis and the values has been show on the horizontal axis now come to the next point column chart column chart what is the meaning of column chart the chart is used to display data that show the trend over a period of time it show the trends which type of trends has been coming up a period of time that will show in the column charts so it is used to show the trends over a period of time which type of trends has been going up it is going to be increase it is going to be down has been show with the help of column chart next is it is a deferred chart types of ms excel means that if we do not select any type of chart then ms excel always be made a column chart so if anybody asks you what is the default chart type of ms excel so column chart is a default chart type of a ms excel in this chart also a rectangular rod so what is the difference between bar chart and column chart in this chart type categories are organized horizontal means that categories are horizontal and values are vertically if anybody asks you what is the main difference between column chart and bar chart so in column chart categories are organized horizontal and value are organized vertically but in category in bar chart bar chart categories are organized vertically and values are organized horizontally this is the main difference between column chart and the bar chart now come to the next point line chart now come to the line chart it is in the form of line firstly if anybody asks what do you understand about line chart then you will write it is in the form of line and is used to illustrate the trends in data at a equal interval at a in, uh, which type of trend has been coming off at a regular interval at a equal interval which type of trends has been come either it is going up either it is going down at a equal interval this type of uh, trends has been showing to us this is things has been present in a line chart so it is in the form of line and it is used to illustrate trends in data at a equal interval 
Now come to the next point. It is quite similar to plotting a graph on a graph paper which its value on x axis and y axis. You can see that it is like at a uh, same type of uh, thing that we draw on a graph paper. It is uh, useful in emphasize the continuity by showing the change in data over a period of time. I already showed that I already told you that it is used to show which type of change has been coming up in the, over a period of time. Which type of uh, changes has been come over a period of time. Now come to the next point. That is area chart. What is the meaning of area chart? It is a unique version of line or column chart. So it is a version of line and column chart or column chart. This type of chart has greatly visual impact than a line chart. It make a more visual impact in the comparison of line chart because it shows the proper volume has been changed over a period of time that is not shown in a line chart so it is a made a visual impact in the comparison of line chart it emphasizes the magnitude that is the volume of change over a period it shows that how much volume how much volume uh, how much volume has been changed how much volume has been changed over a period of time now come to the next chart xy scattering chart what is a xy scattering chart this chart has two value axes means that we already read about category axis and value axis but in this chart both axes has a value axis both axes have a value axis one set numerical data is display along the horizontal axis x axis and other and another set represent by the vertical y axis one data has been shown on x axis and second data set of data has been shown on y axis and both are the value one set of values has been shown on a x axis and one values has been shown on a y axis x axis is usually assigned a independent variable and y variable then become the dependable value x axis is independent and y axis is dependable on the x axis in this chart x axis will be independent and y axis will depend on x axis i will again repeat it x axis is independent and y axis will depend on the x axis i will tell a example to elaborate the things what is the use of xy chart suppose that we are creating a chart of a cricket match there are two teams and in the teams here is given over in first over second over third over fourth over and here is giving the numbers one team has made some runs one team has made some run and another team has made another runs so so these things has been show different different things uh, how much run how much run made by first team and how much run made by the second team and both are the value here is over and here is run both are the number value and it will show about the how much run has been made by the two teams i am again explaining the themes suppose that we are creating a chart we are creating a chart of xy scattering here is i have written the over and here i have written the run has been made by both team then then first team 
कम अप एंड ही दे विल प्ले एंड मेड सम रन इन ओवर वाइज एंड आफ्टर डैट अनदर टीम हैज बीन कम एंड मेड रन एंड वी विल ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट द कंपेरिजन नाउ वी विल ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट द कंपेरिजन एंड बोथ हैव अ नंबर बोथ हैव अ नंबर दीज थिंग्स वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड इन दिस चार्ट दिस इज अ स्कैटरिंग चार्ट इन विच बोथ आर आ वैल्यू एक्सेस एंड दे विल रिप्रजेंट आर डाटा If anybody asks that in which chart that in which chart both axes have a value axis, then you will say that x y scatter chart. Now come to the next point. That is pie chart. This chart display data in the form of circles that is divided into a series of segment. Means that if anybody asks that what is the definition of a pie chart, you will have to tell that it display data in the form of circle, and it divided into series of segments. It is divided into a different different segments. Now come to the next point. These segments show the relative size of each item in a chart what is the size of each item at this segment has been told these thing what is the size of each item has been told by these segment which segment is greater than which segment is low it always show only one data series is useful when we want to emphasize emphasize a significant element if we have to emphasize a significant element then we just used to make a pie chart if we have to make a significant element then we have to try to make a pie chart it is uh, this chart type work best with the smaller number of value if we have to make a smaller number of value then we should try to make a pie chart these are the things we have to understand in this topic i hope you like the video you got anything in this video if you like it then you like it and share it and subscribe it my channel thanks for watching